I don't mind the infomercial products so much as the host or hostess that have to ask those, you know, inane, scripted, you know, stupid questions of the product guy to kind of draw him out and get, you know, him to describe his product by leading him with these stupid, you know, softball questions, you know. They always have that woman, she's like the host, and they're in the kitchen, you know, they're selling like the, whatever the heck, that magic bullet, whatever the heck that thing is, you know, the blender. They're all excited about a blender. You know, they have a studio audience set up, just happens to be there, camera, crews, lights. They're all excited about a blender. They're, you know, she's like, you know, no, Mike, anytime you want to do it, your blender, it has a top. How many times are you looking for the top, right? You can't find the top. It's unbelievable. His top's with the top. And they cut to the studio audience like a bunch of trained sales, clapping, you know, all excited about a blender. They're overacting. It's got a switch. Oh, my God. That's right. And if you act now, we're going to slash the fourth payment. You know that phony baloney payment we're going to charge you in the first place? Putting a red line right through it, not even checking with corporate. Just press three payments and shipping and handling for another $5,844. Shipping and handling. Who are they kidding with shipping? Isn't handling part of shipping? You know? I'll pay shipping, but I'm not going to pay handling. All right, we're going to kick your package all the way to your house. Hire a bunch of soccer players. Don't anybody touch it. He didn't put handling. You know, you know? Shipping and handling. Who they kidding? 